Today I'm going to show you one of the easiest and simplest techniques for stamping, which is great for beginners and people that are seasoned stampers as well. It is this pine tree. This. This is pine tree, and I'm going to show you simple techniques for decorating the bottom edge of your card or your scrapbook page. First of all, I'm going to take and turn my paper. Grab a hunter green ink pad. Pounding on it, ink it up well, and stamp it off the edge of your page. And I stamp it several times before I re-ink it, varying the heights. Yep, and then I'm going to switch to a bright blue ink pad. That ink pad right there doing the exact same thing. Stamp it multiple times, varying the heights. Again. And like that. And then when you take it away, you can see you have the bottom edge of your card or your scrapbook page, which is a nice little dimensional forest. <laughs> the other fun thing to do is to create a pop-up card. This time I'm going to move my ink pads, grab my stamp, you can see mine is well used, and you want to grab bold colors. You can use um, Mar Barbie brush markers or the bold colors of the Tombows, but you want watercolor markers, water-based markers. Even w kids' washable markers will work if they're bold. You color your stamp, the rubber part of the image. Color the whole thing in, and then set the blue or the green aside, and grab blue. And I'm just going to put stripes. You can see I just colored my wood on my stamp. That's how it gets grubby. And then you're going to take like your cleaning glass and moisten the stamp with your breath. And I'm going to take and stamp a bold one down in front. Remoisten it again. And again, and again. Let's see if we can get one more out of it. There we go. Five stamps. And you'll notice when you blot yours off, I just blotted mine off on a tray with water on paper towel. A lot of ink still pulls off the stamp. Now, what I'm going to do to make this pop up is grab my card and if you need to make a mark for yourself, say I'm going from there across to about there. Just give myself a little mark to follow. Don't forget to grab your cutting mat and your craft knife. And I'm not going to be real precise with going around. Just sort of zigzagging it back and forth. your dot on the other side. Set your knife aside. I'm going to take, I think I got all the edges. Fold this down. That. And you would have your pop-up card. If you want to make it, take it one more step. I'm going to take my clear crystal lacquer, which you keep upside down in a cup with a damp paper towel. It keeps that little tip open. And I'm just going to put a little bit of squiggles around the base of the tree. Sorry, that. Base of the trees, give it some ground. And put a few little squiggles up onto my trees. fine kind of crystalline or clear glitter and just shake it onto my tree.
tap it off, flip it over, give it a good flick, and you can see if I turn that you have the glitter on there, and then you would have a nice card for a table place card or fold it over and put it in an envelope that makes a fun card using the tree and it's very easy for all levels of stampers.